Hi. Hey guys, how's it going? A sissy table. Yeah, about four minutes. So how are you guys doing with the con so far? You know, I love it. I've always, I, I don't know, we did Comic Con, which was like, kind of like this, but crazy, 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 and then this is like a good, like, relaxed version, but just as much fun and just as, like, much energy, but not as much as... I love that right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a question for her. So, Izzy is very complicated and awesome, and now she's back in, she's in, like, serious Izzy mode, but I still think she's just as vulnerable, so what's that like for you to play as a character for somebody who, like, she has to make this tough decision not to be, I guess, a party girl, but she's still, you know, equally as... I mean, she is willing to do everything for her family. It shows how much she loves them. So, I don't know. I would want a sister like her. I would want a sister who's willing to risk everything for me the same as I would for her. And I know that Alec, she knows that Alec will do that for her, so she doesn't care. Um, and it's really nice to see her change. She's matured throughout these um, these episodes, and I think it's really nice that the fans get to see like different layers of the characters and, and get to relate to her. And especially because it's a good cause, you know, it's fight for it's fighting for equality. She's talking about the shadow world, but it's. I think it's very important. Yeah, the message us, extends yeah. throughout through the rest of the world. Yeah. Well. It's not exclusive to our story. Yeah. And okay, so I have to ask all the fans who have loved the books and you know the whole fandom they love Izzy and Simon. Mm -hmm. What can you tease about that happening in the near future? Well, Are we, we know that something? we know that in the books. Sis, uh, Sis, yeah. Simon and Izzy both need to like mature into the people that are going to be right for each other. Um, and when they first meet, there's that initial spark that we had in episode two. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want to start that too early because they both do need to go a lot and they both need to mature a lot. Um, season two, we might see the first... Ooh, right? We've heard yeah, that there might be some scissors. We hope. Yeah, we, don't, we still don't know. I mean, a, a Simon and Clary is still need to happen, you know, before Sizzy happens. So... Let's see. You know, I'm trying to see Sizzy moments. You know, the fans draw these amazing um, art. Fan art. That's amazing. Fan art. So it's they do really they draw really cool stuff. So I hope they can bring that to life. It's one of my favorite relationships in the, in the whole series, is Simon and Izzy, because of how they mature and how they grow together. So I really hope, and I think we're doing that. We're letting that mature. That, that, like we're letting that happen in our series. Um, Simon's descent into going crazy because we have vampire blood and then finally turning into vampire yeah. is one of my favorite parts of the show. Um, I was interested, like, as an actor, like, how much fun was that to play? Oh, it was a dream come true, man. Like, as a kid, you always, you know, you played you played games, and the games were like you were a Jedi. For, like I was the first, I was first thing I was ever was was a Jedi, and then after that I was like Superman, and then I was a vampire, and then you kind of extend your world of creatures, and then to get the chance to do it as an adult is like amazing. Um, and then as an actor, also when you take like the technical things, so like, trying to develop like your own wormhole to take yourself down this is also like a, an interesting process to be like, well, I want to make sure I bring in this part, and then. Something that didn't get talked about in the books. You kind of see Simon happen, and then you come back to him a couple days later when he, and he had all this dealing with it himself. And I really wanted to bring that journey out because that's, I feel like some people have that in life when they change and they can't control the change that happens. They go through their own wormhole. And I, want, and I wanted that to be shown. Um, I always felt like Izzy was such a badass when she came to fight. <laughs> Have you gotten pretty comfortable with like all the uh, like fight frog? Yes, you know. I love fighting and I love that Izzy has her whip and she gets to do all these awesome things. I want to see more of it though. I want to see her beat up some people and you know, I want to see some blood going on. So hopefully we get more of that in season two, but I feel really comfortable. You know, I've danced. I danced through a lot of, uh, a long time of my life, so I think that also helps. And it's like a choreography, every fight scene, it's not like just walking in and punching people. You know, you actually have to, it's a, it's a choreography, it's like a dance. So, yeah. What kind of dance do you do? Ballet, jazz, flamenco, belly dance, hip hop. She did that was four years old, yeah. <laughs> That's all the time we have, guys. Right, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys.